थॉमस एडिसन डिडेंट इन्वेंटेड द लाइट बल्ब वो इन्वेंटेड द लाइट बल्ब देन इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द ओरिजिन ऑफ द लाइट बल्ब वी नीड टू ट्रेवल बैक इन टाइम मोर दैन टू हंड्रेड ईयर्स एगो इन एटीन हंड्रेड इटालियन इन्वेंटर एलेक्जेंड्रो वोल्टर डेवलप्ड द फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल मेथड ऑफ जनरेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी द फर्स्ट ट्रू बैटरी नोन एज वोल्टाइक पाइल द वोल्ट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ हिज नेम वोल्टाइक पाइल कंसिस्टेड ऑफ पेयर्स ऑफ कॉपर एंड जिंक डिस्क पिल्ड ऑन टॉप ऑफ इच अदर सेपरेटेड बाय अ लेयर ऑफ क्लोथ और कार्डबोर्ड सोक्ड इन अ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड और ब्लाइन दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट द पाइल कंडक्टेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वेन अ कॉपर वायर वॉज कनेक्टेड एट आइदर एंड इट प्रोड्यूस अ कंटिन्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड अ स्टेबल करंट एंड लॉस लिटिल चार्ज ओवर टाइम वेन नॉट इन यूज नॉट लॉन्ग आफ्टर वोल्टा प्रेजेंटेड हिज डिस्कवरी ऑफ कंटिन्यूस सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन एटीन जीरो सिक्स हेम्प्री डेवी द केमिस्ट इन इंग्लैंड डेमोस्ट्रेटेड दैट अ पावरफुल लाइट कुड बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई एस्टेब्लिशिंग एन इलेक्ट्रिक आर्क बिटवीन टू चारकोल रॉड्स डेवी मॉडिफाइड वोल्टाज बैटरी एंड यूज इट फॉर डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग हिज आर्क लैम ही यूज चारकोल इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड अ टू थाउजेंड सेल बैटरी टू क्रिएट एन आर्क अक्रॉस फोर इंच गैप ही माउंटेड हिज इलेक्ट्रोड वर्टिकली एंड कनेक्टेड इट टू द बैटरी टू इग्नाइट द लैम्प द रॉड्स आर टच टूगेदर दस अलोइंग अ रिलेटिवली लो वोल्टेज टू स्ट्राइक द आर्क द रॉड्स आर देन स्लोली ड्रॉन अपार्ट एंड इलेक्ट्रिक करंट हीट्स एंड मेंटेन द आर्क अक्रॉस द गैप ही नेम्ड इट कार्बन आर्क लैम्प His experiment powered by banks of battery did not result in practical lightning device. The carbon vapor in the arc is highly bright, which is too much bright for use in home and work space, but suitable for large areas and street lighting. The rods are slowly burnt away in use and the distance between them needs to be regularly adjusted in order to maintain the arc. But the principle behind Davis arc light were used throughout 18th century. in the development of many other electric lamps and bulbs for much of the 18th century these were the only type of electric light available to light large areas and were often the cheapest option to illuminate street compared to gas or oil lamps various inventors then improved davis design adding spring system and better electrical sources this led to electric arc lamp the first widely used type of electric light and the first commercial successfully form of an electric lamp Over the next seven decades, other inventors also created the light bulbs, but no design emerged for commercial application. More notably, in 1840, a British scientist Warren De La Rue enclosed the platinum coil in a vacuum tube and passed an electric current through it, thus creating one of the world's first incandescent light bulb. The design was based on the concept that the high melting point of platinum would allow it to operate at high temperatures. and that the evacuated chamber would contain fewer gas molecules to react with the platinum improving its longevity although it was an efficient design the cost of the platinum made it impractical for commercial use also at that time the proper vacuum creating machine was not available this led to destroying of platinum filament in less time as in the presence of oxygen the filament would burn up as a result of the high temperature Work continues on heating something to create light which is called incandescent light incandescent light bulb work in this way electricity flows through the filament that is inside the bulb the filament has resistance to the electricity the resistance makes filament heat to a high temperature but due to absence of oxygen inside the bulb it doesn't catch fire the heated filament then radiates light all incandescent lamps work by using a physical filament in 1850 An English physicist named Joseph Son began working on a light bulb by enclosing a carbonized paper filament in an evacuated glass bulb and by 1860 he had a working prototype Son's filaments were placed in a vacuum tube to minimize their exposure to oxygen extending their life span unfortunately for Son the vacuum pump of his day were not efficient as they are now the lack of good vacuum and an adequate supply of electricity resulted in a bulb whose lifetime was much too short to be considered an effective producer of light however in the 1870s better vacuum pump became available and son continued experiments on light bulbs son developed a longer lasting light bulb using a treated cotton thread son's electric light bulb could last for 13.5 hours and his home became the first house in the world to be illuminated by electric light but Its filament had low resistance thus needing heavy copper wires to supply it this mean that 
the conductors bringing electricity to the lamp would have to be relatively short or impossibly thick acceptable for an experiment or demonstration but not for a commercial electrical system at the same time american inventor and businessman thomas edison was following this development closely he realized that the main problem in swan's design is a filament in order to keep the thickness of copper wire needed to connect electric light economically manageable he would have to develop a lamp that would draw a low amount of current resistance of conductor is given by this relation if the cross sectional area of a conductor is very small resistance will be high this means that the lamp would have to have a higher resistance also according to ohm's law current will be high if the resistance of conductor is low and vice versa that is a very thin filament with high electrical resistance would make a lamp practical high resistance meant only a little current would be required to make the filament glow and allow much longer copper lines of modest size to be used edison also discovered that hot filament release gas trapped in a metal one of the hurdle to overcome was the creation of better vacuum pump one that could produce the very high vacuum needed will experiment progress through late 1878 and into 1879 edison and his team of researchers tested more than 3000 design for bulbs in the fall of 1879 experiment with carbon filament resumed a carbonized filament of uncoated cotton thread operated for a total of 14.5 hours this filament led the menlo park team to believe that they were on the right track in 1879 edison filed us patent for an electric lamp using a carbon filament or a strip coil and connected to platina contact wires after several months after the patent was granted that edison and his team discovered that a carbonized bamboo filament could last over 1200 hours This discovery marked the beginning of commercially manufactured light bulbs and in 1880 Thomas Edison's company Edison Electric Light Company began marketing its new product the electric light one of the everyday convenience that most affect our lives was not invented in traditional sense by Thomas Edison in fact some historians claims there were over 20 inventors of incandescent lamp prior to Edison's version however Edison is often credited with the invention because His version was able to outstrip the earlier version because of combination of three factors: an effective incandescent material, a higher vacuum than other were able to achieve, and a higher resistance that made the power distribution from centralized source economically viable. I think one of the most interesting thing is how long it actually took for electric light to arrive into people lives. It took a lot of people, not just Edison. to invent all the way to adapt electric light and to make it more efficient i hope you like this video as always thanks for watching subscribe to get notified when i will upload next video have a good day